Tell me what it felt like to have been nominated and then to have been voted the, the Pound's Choice. It was really special to be recognized by the Rowan community, my teammates, and my friends. You started rowing at a very small program in Moorestown, New Jersey. I did. It's not the kind of program that you would expect to produce uh, a national team athlete who is now ranked second in the world. Where, at what point, or is there a point you can tell that you knew you wanted to do this? Yeah, well, um, you know, I started rowing when I was a freshman in high school, and at that point it was just mostly about having fun with my friends and being outside and being on the water, and that was really fun. And then I went on to row for four years at Colgate. Um, and at that point, I still really loved everything about the sport. Um, but I wasn't quite ready to transition right to the national team, so I trained at Riverside Boat Club in Boston for two years in my single, you know, working on my fitness, working on my small boat skills, and um, eventually got an invite to the training center and just been working off of that. There was never a moment, uh, and you told me this before, that you doubted for a second that you knew where you wanted to be. How? Absolutely not. So tell me a little bit about that. I mean... um, for me, it's just about making myself the best athlete and teammate and pursuing excellence at the highest form of sport. And I feel that if I make myself the best I can be, that's going to be, that's going to be good. Silly question. Why rowing? Um, I think I just fell into it at the beginning. I, my parents thought I would be good because I was tall, and obviously that has evolved into something much bigger. Your career, from the minute you got onto the national team, has been one highlight reel after another. What's that been like, and what is it like thinking about what's coming? Um, I'm just trying to do the best I can on a daily basis and having the confidence to know that all those small changes are going to add up to something much bigger. Do you think very very far in the future, do you think about Rio uh, when you go to bed at night, do those thoughts come in? I mean, obviously, yeah, we're in the Olympic year, I'm thinking about the Olympics, but I, like, like I said, I just need to do the best I can in every moment that I'm presented with. What, you, what, what takeaways do you get from rowing? What lessons have you learned? Um, something I'm working on right now and that I think is a really big part of being successful is the ability to be flexible and adaptable in all sorts of situations, like whatever sculling, sweeping, whoever you're rowing with, the lineup, your pair partner, whatever racing situation you're being presented with, you need to find a way to be successful in any situation and just finding a way to make it work. I think I've stuck with the sport for so long because I feel really excited by the mental and physical challenges that I'm constantly being presented with.